This is Shakira Spencer, here in her early 30s, a mother of two. This was Shakira after the campaign of abuse. She was tortured, enslaved, starved and forced into sex work. All at the hands of those she considered her friends. Ashana Studholm, who was pregnant during the abuse and gave birth in prison. Her former boyfriend, Sean Pendlebury, and their friend, Lisa Richardson. Together, they killed her and left her body beaten and burnt by a blowtorch to decompose in her child's bedroom. The defendant's control over Shakira was so strong that days before her death, when stopped by police, she failed to mention the abuse. For Shakira's family, these details are simply unbearable. It sounds like a horror film times 10. Like, you almost don't believe it's real. You think, oh, someone's making it up until you actually sit there in the trial and there was no remorse, nothing. These people are not what we would call humans. It's more, it's demonic. Her abusers attempted to cover up their crimes, one of them seen here in Poundland buying cleaning products. But their efforts were in vain. OK, Shannon, so I'm placing you under arrest, suspicion of yeah. murder. Excuse Shakira. me? Less surprising was their sentence, life, with a minimum term of 34 years. The levels of brutality were wholly exceptional and Shakira's suffering was extreme. As I have said, it was proved beyond doubt at trial that this was a sadistic murder. And while the sentencing brought some closure for Shakira's family, her loss and how it happened, they say they can never forget. Subba Chowdhury, Sky News at the Old Bailey.